All right, hello. Good afternoon, morning, night. Good day. Today, I'm gonna be making the most expensive cheeseburger that's ever been made on a truck bed. I thought might as well be at the most expensive city. Well, one of the most expensive cities in the United States, Beverly Hills. I've taken it upon myself to go to one of the most expensive grocery stores in hopes to find the ingredients for said cheeseburger. The way that this store was explained to me was if you took Whole Foods and gave it a country club, that would be what Bristol Farms is. So we gotta find some meat, we gotta find some toppings. Um, I'm trying to make this burger cost about 200 to $250, but if we can make it cost more than that without making it taste horrible, let's go. I've been in California for like the last five days, just been sailing with RJ, um, taking it easy, hanging out at his garage. What else have I been doing? Sleeping? Anyway, let's go get our ingredients and make ourselves a fancy burger. Also, I got myself a couple new t-shirts. Go ahead and check them out at mavmadeit.com. Thanks. Yo. What's up, man? Out here. How's it going? Good. Maverick, nice to meet you. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Heck yeah, man. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin, nice to meet you, dude. Hey, uh, do you want a sticker? Yeah. I have, I have some of my new stickers in the truck. You think I got a pretty good shot of finding some uh, expensive ingredients in here? Hell yeah. <laughs> it, it ain't gonna be cheap, I'll tell you that much. Hell yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Alright, man. Alright, dude. Good Take good it easy. Man. Yeah, nice to meet you. Let's go ahead and get our stuff now. Oh my god, there's so many hot chicks here, this is not fair. Alright, so everybody knows that every good cheeseburger starts off with a good bun. No one brioche. These are 525. Yeah, uh, do you have like a smoked gouda? Right there? Okay. Trying to make a fancy cheeseburger. Do you think that smoked gouda would be a good choice? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Alright, smoked gouda cheese. Third of a pound. Five bucks. Hi, how's it going? Could I do a, a bigger piece of the Kobe ribeye steak, please? And could I do a king crab leg as well? Thank you very much. Have a good day. All right, you wanna know how you find uh, how fancy the grocery store you're at is? Is how good their alternative milk selection is. They have caviar here that costs 318 bucks. So we're gonna figure out if it's really worth it to do that. I mean, I guess, we're making an expensive cheeseburger, so we could, but it's not gonna taste any better. I don't really wanna spend that kind of money. Well, thank you. General Caviar is a product that mm -hmm. European farm mm -hmm. raised, so a lot of people look into that. Yeah. I mean, the, the whole goal of today is to make a really expensive cheeseburger, but I don't know if I really wanna make uh, that is it. $318 on, yeah. on the caviar. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I would just, I would go with American Sturgeon if I was, if I was you. Okay. And that's uh, that's the, like the mid range, like you're not paying too much and you're not paying too less. Okay. Sounds good, man. Thank you. Hey there. Do you guys sell truffles? Alright, sounds good. Thank you very much. Hi, how's it going? One hundred and seventy one dollars for a cheeseburger. I mean, like, look at this place. My truck looks so out of place here. Hi, can I help you? Hi there. Do you guys have A5? Yes, we got A5. Uh, how late are you guys open? Oh, we're going to close in like uh, 15 minutes, huh? Oh, we're close to 7 today. In 15 minutes? All right, I'll hurry right over. All right, man. All right, thank you. Beverly Hills Boulevard, baby. Money, everything. All I really want is that. I'm glad I found you. Thanks for picking up. I appreciate it. So I'm trying to make a cheeseburger out of A5. I'm trying to make the most expensive cheeseburger like ever, kind of. <laughs> um, do you have something that 
I mean, I, I want to slice up an A5. Okay. Yeah. That's a nice guy right here. That is. It looks beautiful. Cool. cool. Thank you. You too. I just bought. This is a Japanese A5 Wagyu steak. Wagyu. Look at that. So that piece of meat right there is $200 a pound. Alright, so here you go. It's $171.88. Kobe ribeye. $50.59 for a little less than a pound. There's those two right next to each other. You can see on the A5 how much more the marbling is. I mean, I'm sure the steak's gonna be awesome anyway. All right, so one of the first things I need to do is boil this colossal crab leg. So we're gonna get some water going. All right, so we got Organic butter lettuce, brioche buns, white truffle oil, black truffles, king crab leg, A5, Kobe, and then we got some sturgeon caviar, which I need to put back on ice right now. Our water's boiling, the sun's going down, things are getting crazy. All right, we're gonna boil this bad boy for like seven minutes. Oh man, this is not big enough. Yeah, there we go. Toss in a little bit of Old Bay in there. Now, I think the most important part is gonna be the meat. So we've got our Kobe, we've got our A5. Um, the Kobe, I'm probably gonna take like half of it. And then I'm just gonna really finely chop this. pepper, and salt, and there we got one patty. I'm thinking the A5, I'll actually just leave this as a patty. I don't know though. Hi, excuse me. What's going on? You made it yourself? What's that? You made it yourself? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh my god, can I see it? Yeah, go for it. That's amazing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's two big drawers and then I have a shower on the roof. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can pressurize this and it'll shoot yeah, out water. You, you made this effort too? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I'm from uh, Minnesota. Minnesota? Yep. Amazing. Thank I appreciate you. it, man. All right, keep in touch, yeah. okay? Yeah, sounds good. Have a good rest of your night. Okay, you too. All right. Now, now we got to toast our buns. Oh, do I leave this as a, like a patty? I feel like we got to dice it up. All right, don't look back. Oh, god. this is just killing me right now. Oh, this is bad. I don't like this. Oh, yeah. I have never done this before or seen this done, so this will be interesting, I guess. Don't go breaking my heart. Pain. Now that my heart is almost broken in pieces after severing that A5 in half, Let's uh, toast a bun, shall we? Since we are doing fancy today, it wouldn't be fancy without toasting it with a white truffle oil. Mm. Let me play the sound of my people. First, to get my wits about me, I'm gonna cook the Kobe one. Butter lettuce on the bottom. Here goes the A5. Oh god, it's like a freaking mash pile. 
All right, so the A5, I only cooked like two minutes aside just because I want the inside to be a little rare. Add some crab onto the top. So next I'm gonna put on the burger is some sliced black truffles. So I've never had this before. This is caviar, more specifically American sturgeon caviar. I could have really balled out with this stuff and made the title of this video like making a $500 cheeseburger, but the guy behind the counter said that there's not really much of a difference between flavor in this one and the $300 one. So yeah, I'm not really disappointed I didn't spend $300 on caviar tonight. Just to put it on top of a burger. We have to try it before we put it on there, of course. See, these things are like mini pancakes. They're called bellinis, apparently. This is what you eat caviar with. Oh, exquisite. Tastes like salty fish. Oh man, I just put $50 on top of this burger. And so to reiterate, we have lettuce, we have a Kobe beef patty. It's probably about three quarters of a pound with some smoked Gouda cheese in between, a A5 Wagyu beef patty with king crab leg, black truffles, and a lot of caviar on a brioche bun, toasted in truffle oil. Put the total that it came out to up on the screen right now. But this thing is a freaking beast, look at this. I would cut this in half, but there's no way that I'd ever be able to get it in my mouth. Take a look at that. It's so ridiculous, dude. Oh my gosh. I mean, now is it worth $250? These patties just don't want to hold together because all that fat content in there is just making them fall apart. It just melts in your mouth. I mean, you can maybe tell the A5 stayed like a medium rare at least, or a medium. The Kobe definitely got a little more cooked, but the bottom bun, it's just soaked in fat. My hands, soaked in fat. I'm like in shock right now. I don't. I would have savored that a little longer. But one, I didn't want it to get cold. Two, I didn't want it to get more soggy than it was. And three, it was really good. Wow. 200 and what do we call it? The $250 cheeseburger. Let's see, it was 170, 171, and then it was another $80 for the Japanese. It was a very expensive cheeseburger, nonetheless. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm gonna clean up, go to bed. As always, until next time, my name is Maverick, and just keep on trucking.